Welcome back guys to another video. Markets, it's pretty bad. Like honestly though, this is the market that I wasn't expecting today. In fact, at one point I was down like 2.93%. I was down like $2,000, $3,000 at one point. Now it's somewhat recovered, but still markets are very, very nasty. S&P 500 is down negative 2.3%. The Robinhood challenge video for next week is most likely going to be pretty bad as well since I did get hurt a lot by some of these put credit spreads. I wasn't expecting a drop this big, but I will be playing the markets a lot more cautiously for now. Now, so far, you might be wondering what's causing the markets to drop this much. In the past week, it's just been a slow and consistent bleed. Today, it dropped a lot. If you check out the three-month chart, this drop right here that we experienced today was just as fierce as the drop around September 18th, and it's almost as fierce as the one that dropped from September 2nd all to September 3rd during that giant bubble pop because Apple, Tesla were going up billions and billions of dollars for literally no reason. It was only a stock split. There was so much enthusiasm and then it was shattered. Right now, the markets are having a slow and consistent bleed down. We may actually experience small pockets of intense growth and then really, really big drops. But overall, we could be seeing a very slow and steady flat market. The bears are out and having an absolute blast. So what's going on with the market? And you're probably asking why. One of the biggest reasons right now, the number one reason is gonna be the virus. This pandemic is going around the US like crazy. I'm not really sure, maybe the frat parties are increasing it. I have no clue, but of course, guys, wear your mask, it will definitely help. And so far, we actually experienced a record number of cases, higher than one in summer. So this is pretty bad. A lot of people keep saying a second wave, flu season's around the corner, the winter is coming, temperatures are dropping, and cases are going up. Right now, a bunch of schools and a bunch of businesses are hosting everything online and things aren't really looking so good. On top of that, here in the US, we most likely would not be seeing any sort of a lockdown. Now, another lockdown will be absolutely detrimental for the economy. A lot of mom and pop stores cannot take another second lockdown. The first one already eliminated a bunch of stores. The second one will increase unemployment rates by crazy. So they probably won't lock down again. Now, Italy is imposing new restrictions to their citizens, and they want to avoid a lockdown, but a lot of countries in Europe are having curfews. Be like, hey, from the times of maybe 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., you can't go outside. I mean, you can go outside, but at the most, you can only do groceries. There's insane lockdowns right now. There's a bunch of temperature checks everywhere, and things are looking really iffy. I mean, around Europe, cases are surging. If you look at the overall pandemic graph for Europe in the past couple months, it has absolutely been skyrocketing. And this really crazy thing that's been going on is affecting stock prices in Europe. Like, if you look at the DAX, like Germany, I mean, they're dropping by a ton. Right now, S&P 500, it's not having a lot of fun either. And Europe, because they're posing so many new restrictions, as the second wave starts coming in, everyone is getting a little bit frisky. Everyone is getting a little bit scared. So some businesses are even volunteering to maybe close for a couple of days. It's kind of bad. You see right here, Italy announces closure of all bars and restaurants at 6 p.m. France hits a record high. Things are getting pretty bad. People are fearing a lockdown because if, let's say, one state or one country has just somewhat of a lockdown, stocks will absolutely plummet it. On top of that, the economy isn't even doing that good and you already have stocks hitting February highs. Some people are saying that stock prices should be around maybe $330 or $320 for the S&P 500. Me personally, I don't really think there will be a lockdown, but I feel like we will be having a very slow and consistent bleed down. The second is the voting. Election day is around the corner and election day equals volatility. Now, a lot of retail consumers and a lot of hedge funds out there, big money, are very confused about what the market is going to react to when Trump or Biden is going to be elected. One of them will be president, and no one knows how the stock market will react. So far, some people say Trump is pretty good because of the record low tax rates and also low corporate tax rates. Some people say Biden's pretty good because he's a lot more stable. He doesn't do trade wars, and we could be seeing more stimulus if Biden gets elected. So it's really iffy, but keep in mind that Goldman seems pretty bullish about Biden. 
Other people don't seem really bullish for Biden. They seem kind of bullish for Trump. It's an absolute disaster right now. I mean, half the people out there don't even know what they're talking about. Not gonna lie though, I'm honestly pretty confused as well. It's really iffy. It's by far a guessing game at this point. But what I can tell you and guarantee you is the markets are simply having a slow and consistent drop because there's uncertainty in the market. When there's any sort of a small uncertainty, investors have a major sell-off. That's how the market works. Uncertainty equals market sell-off. If there's a lot of certainty, even after a bad event, after that event is over, the markets go up. People have always wondered about that. Be like, job reports are pretty bad today. Why did the market go up? Well, the market has already went down a lot recently. And after that bad job report, markets started going up because the uncertainty is over. That's how the market works. It's really, really crazy. And sometimes it flip-flops. It's just a mess right now, honestly. It's really up to you to play. But right now, my positions are kind of getting hurt a lot. How I'm playing this market is probably selling cash secure puts, but only doing it very, very slowly. I'm not going all in as much anymore. The Robinhood 1K challenge, well, yeah, it's been hit pretty hard. I will be making a review about it. I think I went into spreads way too heavy and way too quick, which of course bite me in the hand. But so far, the biggest things right now causing SPY to drop is of course the pandemic. It's surging in the US, it's surging in Europe. Italy is forcing all bars and restaurants to close at 6 p.m. France hits a new record high for the pandemic. The stimulus isn't really getting passed. And also voting is coming up, elections are coming up, things are getting really crazy. And so far, let's just see what happens in the market. Everyone is standing on the sidelines trying to figure out what happens with the overall stock market. Some people say it's going up, some people say it's going down. Everyone is simply holding cash. This is why so many ETFs and so many stocks have record low volume. They don't know what's happening and they want to buy stuff after the election. I could pretty much tell you that a couple weeks after the election, we could be seeing stocks having a slow and consistent rise up because the uncertainty is out of the picture. That's about it, guys. Now, before we end the video, if you guys want to check out the Discord server and also the Patreon link, all in the description below, you can view the day trades and swing trades, the mods and admins. They're really good traders. For example, getting into eBay at 200, getting out of eBay at 230, pretty impressive. Check out my trades for cash secure puts. Recently, I have been on a small win streak. Of course, today hurts a lot. Now, I'm also doing a lot of put credit spreads for SPY. So far, it's not really doing so good, but last week was actually pretty good. Today was the first major drop. We also offer support chat, premium chat. If you have any questions, we got your back. Our customer service is really, really fast. And guess what? It's super cheap. And there's also like this really nice free trial. We don't start charging until November 1st. So if you don't like it, just cancel before November 1st and you don't have to pay a single penny. There's like a free trial. Like if you don't like it, just cancel it. But so far, if you follow some of the trades and you like ask some questions, I mean, this membership fee pays itself numerous times over and over again. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching and comment below.